Okay, so now what we're doing is we're, uh, we're checking for a connection to our um, MySQL server, then we're checking for our database. So just for now, I'm going to echo out OK. So let's go back and check if this is working. I'm going to just start typing something in here and you can see that OK is displayed. So that's absolutely fine. We are connecting to our database and our, um, our server and our database correctly. So now what we need to think about is the query that we're going to perform on our table. So let's just go in, uh, go, in, go in here and I'll explain a bit about the query. We're going to be using the like keyword, which is inside uh, our SQL uh, query. And like is going to take, is going to use um, a percentage sign to say, do we want to check if it's like from the left and the right hand side? So it could be, let's say we could type A into the search text. Now, Alex Garrett has an A in, Dale Garrett has a couple of A's in, Billy Garrett has an A in, Craig Malcolm has an A in, and so do all the other records. So therefore, these would all be returned. Now let me just show you what that looks like. That looks like like, and then A. So in other words, uh, search text. So if search text equals A, our query is going to look a bit like this. Obviously, there's going to be more to the query because we, we're creating a full query. Um, but we would retrieve all results because all results have an A somewhere in it. If we were to do this, this means search text from the start and then anything afterwards. So what we're doing now is, oh, we don't want to save that. What we're doing now is, is we're searching uh, for A and then we could say A L E. So we're searching A L E than anything else. Oh, I don't want to save it again. So, um, so yeah, this is the way we're going to do it. We're not going to use a, a percentage sign at the end of each one, um, but we are going to use one at the end to correctly display our search results because we don't want to be searching, you know, with keywords inside of of our words. If that makes sense. If not, you'll uh, understand a bit later. And there is another tutorial on this that I've created, so you can go and have a look at the like um, the like keyword. So let's start creating our query. Let's go ahead and straight start creating it. I'm going to say select. And what do I want to select from the database? I want to select the name. So if we go into our database, we've got the name here. So I want to select the name. And we're selecting from, and the table is names. So let's go back into our database and have a look at that. We've got names there. Um, and then what we're doing is we're saying where name, oh, where name like, remember I said, now usually you do this if you want this if you want to search for a keyword inside here, but what we're doing is we're just saying like, and we're specifying the search text and then the uh, percentage sign afterwards. So we're searching for anything in the front, uh, well, we're searching for a specific in the front, so ALE would produce Alex Garrett and Alex Malcolm, um, and then anything after that. Otherwise, it would just be an exact match. So we uh, create this as a wildcard, it's called a wildcard. So we need to think about security in here as well, so let's escape that there um, and reconcatenate that on there. And we need to, oh no, sorry, let's get rid of that and put that back in there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to say MySQL real escape string. I do have some videos on SQL injection that you should have a look at if you don't understand what this function does. It basically protects, protects against SQL injection um, by escaping certain characters inside of this string. Uh, now we can actually run the query, so query run equals MySQL query, and we've just simply run that query. So now what we can do is, we well, what we need to do is we need to return a list of all names retrieved from this statement. So if I type A, there will be, let's go and count, there'll be one, two, there'll be two names retrieved, because if we start with an A, anything after that um, is a wildcard, so we've got A, for Alex Garrett and A for Alex Malcolm. If we type A-L-E-X, for example, these two will still be returned. If we type A-L-E-X space G, then only this record will be returned because we're matching this part and the rest of it is a wildcard. So hopefully now that makes sense if you didn't understand before. So we need to use a while loop. As we've done in some of my previous tutorials, we've looked at 
um, creating an array from our query from the results so I'm going to say while query row equals mysql fetch associative now what this function here is going to do is fetch an associative array from the uh, records that we've returned from this query and we specify the query inside of it just like that so now what we can do is we can access each element of the returned results so I can say just print out the name uh, obviously we're not selecting the ID from the uh, table here so we're just going to have access to this name so let's echo out name equals so we're just basically setting the variable called name here so name equals query row remember we've set the array as this variable here so we're using square parentheses as an array and then we can just type in name there because it's an associative array so this value here of name will match our field in there so hopefully that makes sense as well and we're going to append a break on it because we want it to look nice when we uh, are displaying it as the user is typing otherwise they're all going to be inline Okay, so that's about it. Let's go back to our uh, page and uh, refresh. So I'm going to start typing a character. I'm going to type A. Hopefully I actually get something back. No. Mm. Odd. Let's go back and have a look at what we might have done wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, we're not actually outputting anything. That would help. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, ass I've assigned... Um, the value of the name from the database to this variable name and we can simply stick echo in front of that and that will just display it out to us 